Okay, everybody. So you're looking at a really cool drawing that I finished uh, not recently. Uh, it's almost two years ago, actually. And um, I'm very proud of this because it's a, it's a total reflection of how old school I am. You know, I always talk about how retro I am and old school. I'm proud of it. You know, not just my taste for vehicles, but or mostly anyway, but you know, my way of thinking and stuff. Uh, but you know, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't live in this amazing bygone age. So you know, I gotta go actually to a railway museum in, in Delson, south of Montreal, to go ride in one of these old streetcars. So I thought, you know, hey, I should owe homage to them because, to me, it seems like the metro, or let's say certain Montreal buses of the past, the GM Nulux, these were fondly, fondly remembered. And I did this uh, drawing, um, let's get a little bit closer here. I took a lot of time to do this. And by the way, if you don't know me, I draw freehand. Eh? No tracing. And you can tell I didn't trace because the roof of the streetcar has a curve. Uh, and a little maybe, well, no, that's supposed to have a curve like that in the front. But, uh, yeah, she don't focus too good when you get close like that. Anyway, uh my um what do you call it uh, what do you call it uh, my um not my base but the photo i used for the uh, for this drawing uh was actually a a, print, a reprint i bought on uh, ebay a few years ago and it was extremely similar to this but because the picture was taken uh, taken i think in 1955 I did my drawing like it was 1959. So in other words, the streetcar, the trees, all this intersection is very similar, if not, I try to be exact as possible. But that 59 Buick here, I wanted this to symbolize the last year of streetcar service in Montreal. And I even went so further to do a Canadian 57 Meteor taxi here. Come on, come on you fucker, you. Uh, there we go, 57 Canadian meter Ford taxi, and then I put a 58 plummet. Because, I mean, if you love Christine, then how can you not like 50 love 58 plummets? Not just like it's love, you know. And uh, I thought you were talking about me and Christine, man. <laughs> no shit or ever got between me and her. Or if they did, watch out. Well, what do you mean? Anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, and, uh, you know, this is for sale right price. There's one thing also I didn't mention, I don't think it was noticeable right away because the, uh, this camera is very sensitive to light. Notice that I even did, I tried to attempt to do a repl replica of the cobblestone road. You know, oh, I forgot to mention this is corner of Sherbrooke and, uh, and going up that way was, uh, Girouard. And it took forever just to do these bloody trees, man. Holy schmoly. Yeah, a lot of work in here, man. Hey, seriously, like, you want to buy this? It's like 300 bucks, no negotiation, minimum. Because once I frame, if I frame this, it's going to be worth like, uh, fuck, I figure about 800 bucks at least. It belongs to the ages. You want to see I don't fuck around, man? I mean, I don't do, I don't do, uh, I don't do paintings, uh, I'm sorry, I don't do drawings. It's been a while since I did drawings because I've done so many of them, I figured it's time to go back to paint. I'll show you a quick preview of what I'm almost done here. Eh, you'll get to look at that soon. I'll be finishing it soon. And that's it, man. So, yeah, this is a heavy gauge paper, high quality acid free, yada, yada, yada. You know? Keep that stored away in my portfolio. This is the other drawings. And that's about it. So, yeah. Leave me positive comments. If you don't have any, well, I'm sure you don't, but if you do, you can keep to yourselves because uh, I got enough negativity in me too in my life like so many people. Peace out.